Hi, welcome to Von Gillette's YouTube channel. Today we'll be covering stretching the quads to fix anterior pelvic tilt. I've always had tight quads. <clears throat> I couldn't even sit on my heels to butt uh, while kneeling or sitting down uh, for the longest time. And in trying to get out of my own anterior pelvic tilt, I started stretching my quads. The problem was is that while my quad flexibility got better and better, uh, it did not help my anterior pelvic tilt at all. And one of the reasons why was when I would stretch my quads, I would basically stretch them in a massive anterior pelvic tilt. You probably see some people stretching like this. The problem with that is you're reinforcing your anterior pelvic tilt because you're not in a neutral pelvic position. So today we're gonna go over <clears throat> the best way to stretch out the quads while maintaining a neutral pelvic position. If you stretch and you're still in anterior pelvic tilt, you're not helping yourself. So we have Ariel uh, in the house again. Uh, Ariel, let's um, uh, pick up uh, the leg on the bike seat. And we're gonna, basically uh, my test for quad flexibility is can a person touch their heel to their butt? But more importantly, can they maintain a neutral pelvic position with a stick on the back? Basically, neutral pelvic position simply means that your thumb behind your low back, notice how I'm not touching, is able to touch, that, can, that helps make you neutral, and will go into the stretch. <laughs> so Ariel, let's see if we can <clears throat> um, maintain the neutral pelvic position while getting a good stretch for the quads. Again, the best of both worlds is gonna be having Ariel touch his low back to his thumb, which he's able to do. He's able to get in the three points of contact. Challenging for that. Is the heart position the overall, Ariel? Yeah, it's pretty challenging. Yep, uh, and Ariel's able to touch the heel to the butt. So I don't care if you can't touch the heel to the butt. The most important thing is preserving this position at first, this proper neutral pelvic position. As long as you do that, your flexibility will increase and it's going to help you get out of anterior pelvic tilt rather than simply stretching, touching the heel to your butt and you have this crazy lordosis uh, or anterior pelvic tilt going on uh, in your spine. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below. Thank you. 